Almost eight years ago, I remember buying a netbook. And the whole idea of a netbook was to give you a miniature sized computer relatively cheap for basic productivity tasks. And now in 2020, my Redmi Note 10 Pro already has more computational horsepower than that little old netbook had. And there's no reason that today we can't replace our bigger, more expensive computing machines with our phones and get the true value out of the computational horsepower we're all carrying in our pocket. Brands that allow us to do this now are few and far between. In the past, we had Huawei, we had Motorola. In fact, Motorola was the very first company that allowed us to do that back more than 10 years ago with the Motorola Rocker and their little dock that you could put your phone into and turn your phone into a laptop. And Motorola still supports that. And last but not least, the most powerful manufacturer of them all right now, giving us these features is Samsung. And today I wanna to introduce you guys to the world of Samsung DeX, why I am such a big fan of the idea of replacing our computers and the idea of replacing our laptops with the computational horsepower we have in our pocket. Hey guys, my name is Mitchell. I'm fluent in tech, so you don't need to be. If you guys wanna talk about this, Twitter is the best place to hit me up. I'm part of the global content creator chats that we have, and it's really my favorite place to connect with creators big and small, and just people that love tech. This is going to be the first video in a series of videos I do about Samsung DeX, leveraging Samsung DeX for productivity, gaming, and just general computational use. In this series, we're going to be taking a deep dive into some of the productivity focused apps, some of the creative focused apps, seeing what the gaming experience is like on a larger display, and most of all, the tools that you guys need to leverage this. Because, hint, hint, it's not a lot of money, especially if you already own a Samsung device. And if you don't own a Samsung device and you're thinking about buying a new phone in the near future, possibly, a Samsung device might replace your laptop or your other mobile computing needs. And I hate to sound like such a Samsung fanboy because ever since I switched from Xiaomi, I've been doing more content about Samsung, but the truth and the heart of the matter is that Samsung's giving us way more value for our dollar. It's just res the responsibility of us as consumers to get that value out of those products. No longer do I necessarily want to evaluate the phone's capability by how quickly it can open up apps or how many frames it'll push in PUBG. I want to evaluate tech more on the basis of the things that I can do with that item. Let's go over to the monitor so you guys can see what the process of setting up Samsung DeX is like and what items you might need to get started. First thing you're gonna need is a USB type C to HDMI dock of some sort, preferably one with USB type A inputs as well as power, a wireless mouse and keyboard if that's what you're going with. And I'll have a link to my RK68 and Xiaomi mouse in the description. Next up is your apps. Now, some of the apps that you're gonna have from Microsoft are going to be optimized for DeX, but even though the Microsoft apps are optimized, all of the Google suite of productivity apps like Google Docs, Google Sheet, all that stuff still works totally fine. So if you're not part of the Microsoft family, don't worry. At this time, if you guys wanna hit the subscribe button, if you like this video, that would be Awesome. Now, one of the big benefits to DeX along with productivity is you can have multiple apps open in Windows side by side, and most of your apps will resize if they're not optimized for Samsung DeX. You have a big selection of apps that have been optimized, but the Samsung built-in optimization for the DeX platform I find works pretty well. Now in regards to gaming, I need to test further for gaming, but I could get it Call of Duty to fire up and I could get into the training mode, but I don't know about remapping the keyboard. This honestly is just a dream for multitaskers or people 
just looking to use their like laptop for things that they would use their phone for normally, but on a big screen. Now, if you're looking to edit photos or video, I found Adobe Lightroom to be extremely powerful and I'm able to import raw files onto my phone's SD card, edit them, and sync them with the cloud if I want to using Adobe Lightroom. I know Adobe does have a version of Photoshop for Android that's supposedly well optimized, but I haven't tried that out personally. So I hope you guys enjoyed that introduction to Samsung DeX. I've certainly liked using it. I'm gonna start trying to write some more scripts on it and I'm gonna reach out to some other manufacturers that actually manufacture laptop, lap docks, to see if I can take my phone mobily out of the house and give you guys a better idea of how you can replace something like a laptop with your device. Till next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.